Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the Military Committee Chiefs of Defence session has just drawn to a close. We will start off this press conference with an opening... We today announce the kickoff of Exercise Steadfast Defender 2024, which commences next week and runs through May. Steadfast Defender 24 will be the largest NATO exercise in decades, with participation from approximately 90,000 forces from all 31 allies, plus our good partner, Sweden. The alliance will demonstrate its ability to reinforce the Euro-Atlantic area via transatlantic movement of forces from North America. This reinforcement will occur during a simulated emerging conflict scenario against a near-peer adversary. Steadfast Defender 24 will be a clear demonstration of our unity, our strength, and our determination to protect each other, to protect, of course, our values and the rules-based international order industrial base that is able to produce weapons and ammunition fast enough. Sorry, the big difference with a year ago, I would say, Terry, is that there's a lot of things that have happened in the armed forces and in the defense organizations. What hasn't happened is in our societies the understanding that it is more than the military that has to be able to, uh, uh, to, to operate in a conflict or in a war. It is the whole of society that will get involved, whether we like it or not. That realization, we didn't talk about that much a year ago. If you look back the last year, what has happened in our alliance with regard to the battle groups that we set up, if you look back to the training, the fact that we now have a Steadfast Defender with 90,000 troops, that is a record number. That is a record number of troops that we can bring to bear and have an exercise with in that size across the alliance, uh, across the ocean, from the U.S. to Europe, in Europe. That is a big change. And then uh, at the back. Thanks a lot. Uh, I guess for Admiral Bauer, for General Cavoli. Um, uh, People find it a surprise and as a result buy a radio on batteries. That is great. <laughs> it is part of, of, of the package that the, the Swedish government is, is talking about. You need to have water, you need to have uh, a, a radio on batteries, and you need to have a, a, a flashlight on, on batteries to make sure that you can survive the first 36 hours. Things like that. That's simple things. But it starts there. The, the realization that not everything is planable, not everything is going to be honky-dory in the next 20 years. I'm not saying it is going wrong tomorrow, but we have to realize it's not a given that we are in peace. And that's why we have the plans. Thank you all very much. That's all we have time for for this session. Uh, I want to remind everybody that the strategic foresight analysis, as mentioned by General Badia, is on the ACT website. And at the top of the stairs, we have a fact sheet about Steadfast Defender with a lot more facts and figures waiting for you. Thank you all so much.